Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Ramoliotis, aka PD Beats. Hello and welcome to the Pop Turnative Podcast, the podcast and talk show where we have digital discussions in the worlds of TV, film, pop culture, social media, everything really depending on the guests. We talk about it all. As always, I'm your host, Prim Otis, and on social media, you know me as PD Beats. You'll recognize my guest from a show that continues to kind of take over the planet on Netflix, Outer Banks. He plays JJ's dad, Luke. We are with Gary Weeks. Gary, welcome to Pop Turnative, man. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Um, how's the quarantine been for you so far? Dude, it's um, it, it's been pretty good. It took me a couple of weeks. Now I'm kind of settled in. Like now I'm like I, I don't, I just want to go work and then just coming back and do this. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's been wild. How about you? It, it's been good doing a lot of interviews. I have a lot of. Uh, I I just feel like I'm just capitalizing on trying to make as much content as I can type thing, yeah. um, which I'm doing, <laughs> but, uh, outer banks, man, we talked about it a little bit before. I mean, it's just, it's insane. It is insane, man. I mean, I, I, I love it. I knew when I was reading it, I was like, this is amazing. But you, you know, you think that about different projects, I, I would have never, have never known it would have blown up this big. The writing in it is insane. But I'm telling you, there's something about that mix of that cast and and that crew. And I mean, it felt like you were going to like camp. You're like, you're playing every day. Mm -hmm. And then this amazing stuff is coming out. And it's just, you know, it just blows me away sometimes. So we'll get into Outer Banks, but specifically about you. I mean, you know, I call, you know, actors, writers, you know, musicians, directors, you're all storytellers. Like when did Gary Weeks decide he wanted to be a storyteller? Well, you know, it's funny. Like I... I didn't realize I could do it as a job until way late. I never even considered it. I grew up in a really small town in South Georgia. It's me and my brother, no one else within miles. And um, we made lots of films. I wrote a lot. We shot stuff on VHS just for fun. And I went to a lot of college trying to figure out what I was supposed to do. And I ended up uh, doing a student film for someone. And that was it. And I, I knew immediately. Then I started training. I, I'm I'm a little bit of a backwards path of like a lot of people. I didn't start in the theater. I'm a horrific theater actor. You know, the, <laughs> every director's like, you got to give me something because I'm so used to film. It's small. Um, but yeah, that was it. And, and since then, I've been, you know, I, I write a ton. And that's one of the things we've been doing a lot during this time, too, like you. Um, yep. I've been writing a lot. But it just, it just kind of happened. And I, I can't really explain it. But... Weirdly, I feel like this is the world I'm supposed to be in. For sure. So I don't even think, I think it's like, it's been maybe like three weeks. Like I don't even think it's been a month since the show's been out. <laughs> I know, it's crazy. Like I remember I spoke to, you know, Drew Starkey who played Rafe and I spoke to, you know, Rudy Paco who played your son JJ on the show and it was like three days. <laughs> right. <laughs> It was literally three days. They had to be, they were exhausted, you know, because they're probably like, their adrenaline was probably going insane. Like, it still is. I feel well, like all of us still have that. You know, the main five, but then you look at other characters, you know, like Cullen Moss, who plays Shoop, and you look at, you know, like Austin North and, and Dion Smith, who played Kels, and Nick yep. Cirillo, who played Barry. I mean, awesome. They're all like, like, they're, 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 their Instagrams are probably like, Freezing every two seconds, you know what I mean? <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, it was funny too because when it first came out, you know, I'm just like, please, some people watch it. It's the same thing you always do. It's a really great <laughs> oh, show. Oh, I they watched the show it. To... Oh, yeah. <laughs> but they, my, the hate for my character was amazingly. I mean, it was just everyone hated him. And well, everyone's team, J like... but they're team JJ to start, right? Like everyone's Absolutely. team JJ, and yeah. then it's just like to see how awful you are to him at times well can you imagine if people were like well i kind of like his dad i'd be worried about that guy who wrote the comment you know and but what i find interesting too is the cinematography of the way they kind of they like and i could be wrong but i remember jj goes back home and he sees you you're sleeping on the couch right yeah at one point and you're nice to him yeah but i think we see there's like you're do we not see that you're back on the medication? Yeah, I mean, okay. it, yeah, I'm I'm very out of it at the time. Yeah, I think he's a little. I think he's a little boy. Mm -hmm. And it was that was one of the harder. All the scenes with him were really fun, as weird as that sounds. But they're all really difficult scenes. That one was tough because that one felt 
like around the age of like my kids that I have now. And so that, that, th- that kind of thought kind of went in there, but yeah, I mean, he's just there. That the one thing I like about that scene for my character is that it, there's something, there's still something left. He's not an absolute 1000% a-hole. Like he's still, there's still maybe a tiny bit of something redemptive in him. So no, it's, 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 yeah, there's a little bit, but you know, that scene in the car where you're just like beating the crap out of, out of oh, JJ. Man. I mean, people talk about that scene that like kind of hits people like, Oh my God, like that happened. It was so crazy. And, and you talked to me, you know, Rudy's, He's he's zero to sixty. Like he he doesn't. There's no playing around. There's not much acting. I mean, we're doing it safely, obviously. Yep. But you know, we're we're in there in the car, and it'd be funny. Like we'd be wailing and going through, and then the second they'd call cut, we'd both be like, "Are you okay? You good? You good? Are we good?" Because <laughs> <laughs> we can't. You know, you come close in those things. We had great stunt coordinators, great guys that always helped us out, kept us on on the even. But you don't. You know, it's feeling very real inside that car. How's the reception been with like the fans? Like as you're, I'm sure like. You're active. We see you on Instagram. Like we see all the fan comments. Like it's it's pretty crazy on that. So how's that been? But also, how's it been uh, the reception from your family and friends as well? Well, it's funny. I think the biggest one from was my mom, who's has never really seen me go that far. Like she's yeah. seen me play darker characters, but she's never seen one like that. And she said she had to look away from the car, and then each time she would kind of shudder before. So it's I think it's kind of that that catch of both sides you know a lot of people hate me but it's i think they're having fun hating me and that's mm-hmm. the that's a goal that's the goal no for sure and it's it's i mean it's when you don't like a character i mean it's like that that was your point right like right. people like people will probably see you walking and you're like you were mean to jj i don't <laughs> like you you're gonna be like well i'm not i'm gary weeks but <laughs> I'm glad you said that because that was the point. <laughs> yeah, it's like a huge compliment. You hate me a lot. Thank you. You know, it's like, oh, thank you. <laughs> then we did it right. Um, you're on an episode of another Netflix show that's kind of dropping very soon called Sweet Magnolias. I feel like yep. Netflix isn't stopping with the content that's coming out. It's and so awesome. I, it's it's crazy right now. <laughs> I love. I mean, I love Netflix. I love what they're doing. I love their aggressiveness on those kind of things. Sweet Magnolias is a great show. It's a totally different character for me. Um, I just I just love what they do. And I will say, like, as an as an actor, you know, all of us, you include all of us work in this kind of business. Yep. The the thing that saved a lot of us is content and being yep. able to, to watch really good things. I feel like finally I can explain to my mom, be like, that's why I do it, mom. You know, I do it because I've been doing it for 20 years because, you know, people find joy out of it. And I do. So she knows that. But now it's nice to see that people are turning to this kind of stuff just for their own, you know, it's it's good to good to feel when you can't be around people. You've been working in the industry for, for a good amount of time, right? Yeah. For, so, like, is there a specific year? Like, is there that? <laughs> well, I mean, I, I think my, my, I'm trying to think of, like, my first job. Like, 10 years at least, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, I've probably, I've been working, I've been a, sag after for 20 years yeah yeah, yeah, absolutely i've I've been doing it for a long time and i'm kind of like you know the guest star actor six small parts in big movies big parts in small movies in so because i kind of asked cullen moss this you know um, it was funny so i asked him because i was like people are comparing you know uh outer banks it's like the new dawson's creek and the new one tree hill and he was like haha i've been in both those (laughs) (laughs) so he's like on the triple threat (laughs) (laughs) but um no but i mean have in your years of working like have you ever seen something like this get so big so quick no i mean that's what's i mean and the thing that's so funny is i i I always talk about like my first day on set i really didn't know anybody i didn't think anyway um but i come in and uh rudy and jd they literally rushed to me they're like come over here come on show you this stuff and I was like, what is going on? They were so <laughs> sweet. All, all of the crew, everyone was just so, it felt like a family immediately. And I think that shows. And yeah, but I mean, it's, it's, a, it's not rare. It's, it's rare for sure for everyone to be that way. It's just a, it's such a great feel. But I've noticed something though about Netflix. And I talked about this with, with Drew and, and Rudy. And Rudy said, yeah, Netflix played the cards pretty carefully with this. So there's obviously like in terms of promoting a show you know they put the trailer out their social media they want to get you popped up about it right i find though i look at so like orange is a new black 
Especially because it was one of the, it, like Netflix was a little bit newer as well. You know, they were yeah. really promoting it and we knew about it, right? And there's a lot of hype. Stranger Things and Outer Banks, I remember I saw a trailer for it. I read a little write-up about it that it was <laughs> dropping. And then I watched it and it took off. Like, I had no idea. You know what I yeah. mean? I mean, with that, <laughs> Do you know what I you mean? Know, do you know what you're talking about? I've been doing it for a long time. When I don't see commercials and a lot of advertising outside, then I automatically assume, well, the show's going to be okay. Like, they're not, they're not putting a lot of, you know, push on the show. But with Netflix, their, their system works flawlessly you know they they do put enough out there so you know it's there they put it up at a spot and then they let you just ride the ride it's just incredible it, it is it's crazy but like i said like i i saw the trailer for it i wanted to see it like i planned on watching it right. but i did not think it was gonna be what it was man like i knew no no like I, you know i knew it was gonna be big but like three days <laughs> right because <laughs> well, like I, I have some friends that are on lock and key right which yeah. is also on Netflix yeah. because it's, sh- I'm, I'm from Ottawa, Ontario, Canada, but uh, a lot of my friends are from Toronto and they filmed it in Toronto. Yeah. And, um, that, w- that got really big, but that took a couple of months. That was like, kind of right. like a steady That's the standard, right? Yeah. I, mean, normally happens. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even, I mean, I didn't even have time to put pants on before this thing was already had, you know, 10 billion people watching. I was like, I can't go outside. Hold on. And I don't know if you're, because you're on Instagram a lot, but like Facebook, there's like Facebook groups and fan pages. There's tons of Outer Banks fan pages, <laughs> like a lot. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's so cool because I love interacting with people and, and just hearing their thoughts and all that stuff. Um, but there are so many that sometimes I'm like, I don't want to get on and just say one thing and then just, you know, ghost like super quickly. I want to be able to talk to people, but there's so oh. many. I'm like, what, where do we go? I mean, it's 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 a matter of of when, but like you know, like it's not official. But like <laughs> season two is <laughs> happening. You know what I mean? Yeah. We just don't know when. You know what I mean? Right. Um, is there anything you can kind of say in terms of like maybe like some thoughts about the possibility of season two? Maybe what you want? Maybe your character Luke to kind of what do you want to see in that? Because there's there's some there's interesting storylines now. You know, with like the gold and everything. <laughs> Right, oh man, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I'm gonna have to say up front, I have no idea what's going on. None yeah. of us do, from no. what I understand. No one has any idea what's going on. I mean, I I would love for there to be over the period because I have a feeling I, I'm going out there. I'm saying yeah. I got a feeling it's gonna run multiple seasons. Like it's gonna run four or five seasons. That's yeah. where I'm going with. Um, so I always think I would I would love to there to be at some point some sort of redemption where he actually appreciates his son for being who he is and not being me or not being Mm -hmm. my character um you know in some level how quickly that happens i mean the fact this is spoiler in case you haven't watched it um the fact that he took the phantom which is my boat (laughs) i'm like (laughs) dude that's not gonna start off well in season two that's yeah i'm sorry buddy (laughs) yeah we don't even see the reaction yet right exactly like you don't know (laughs) It'll be really funny, like if he's skittish against him now. So. But I find it's 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 we're talking about the ending too. But like you're not around when like all the families are around. Like you're not there, so like Pope's family kind of hugs him. Oh my that, god, that dude! I mean, right? like, <laughs> like, well, we talked about. We're that. like, oh my god. You know? <laughs> we talked about it. Jon- Jonas and I. We talked about it. He was like, I don't think he would be there. You know, because I think or- originally in one of the drafts, um, I was there. Yeah, but then it would have kind of closed that storyline a little too neatly. Yeah, and I think because of um, because of what it was, I, I loved it. And that moment, you you couldn't beat that moment. It was such a beautiful thing when he pulls him over. I mean, and if I had been there, I just would have messed it up. So I'm glad. <laughs> I know it's just it is crazy. I mean, it's a wave right now that you're 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 uh, you're riding. I mean, it's I don't feel like the wave's going to. And anytime soon. I feel like you're in it for the long run here, Gary. Yeah, I appreciate that. <laughs> if I can st- I stay out of jail, we'll see what happens. <laughs> yeah. Um, what do you think is, like, there's a lot of things I find about the show that is making it very popular. I think straight up, like, w- you're seeing the fandom, like, it's the characters. Like, people love the characters, like, the yeah. five and the, and the, the relationships. They love that, right? But, like, one... I love the music. I think the yes. music is so good. I'm a big fan of you know, the surf rock and all that. Like it's such a good 
like soundtrack. Right. And the <laughs> score is good too, which is very rare, I find, because it's a good score at a good original soundtrack. Right, exactly. <laughs> it's usually like one of the, exactly. But it looks so good, man. Like, doesn't it look amazing? <laughs> it was, I mean, it, it, they shot it. You know, again, I'm only speaking from my stuff. Uh, yeah. And I was only there for a certain amount of the time, you know. But it, it's so raw, but planned. It's kind of hard to describe it. It's almost like a great mistake every time they shoot. Yeah. And everything's beautiful. I, I would never, you know, I love editors. They're, they're, you know, I love them. They've saved me so many times in my life. But I would hate to be in that editor's room trying to figure out what to do because all of it is so good and beautiful. So no. beautiful even in places that aren't supposed to be beautiful. Exactly. You know, man. beautifully dark, be- you know, whatever. It's just crazy. But it's it's a crazy time. Um, Gary, thank you so much for coming on the show, man. Yeah, man, absolutely. I appreciate it. Um, I just want to congratulate you and, and everyone on the success so far of Outer Banks. Um, <laughs> it has not been a month. But uh, congrats! Thank you, brother. I appreciate it's been it. longer than three days right. <laughs> because, like, it was that way. It was weird, man. It was like the show got uh, like it, it got released on a Friday, and I'm doing an interview with Drew on Tuesday. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's <laughs> like, like, he's like, I haven't even seen episode five through ten yet. <laughs> like, what? And I did, I did a few. Uh, <laughs> like, I love Nick Cirillo who plays Barry. Like, he's, he's awesome. I love that awesome. guy. <laughs> So good. And Cullen, one of the coolest. So Cullen Moss, one of the coolest things happened on, um, like one of the coolest things. I went on Instagram live with him. I've been doing some Instagram lives. I saw you did one with with Devin. Yeah. Um, we got to do an Instagram live. We're gonna do an Instagram live. Let's do it. And it's gonna be awesome. Awesome. Um, but I was doing an Instagram live with Cullen, and I have some pretty cool people. I'm blessed. Like some pre- pretty cool people follow me. Right. Right. So. You watched Tiger King? Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> so, Saf showed up on the live. Well, really? <laughs> <laughs> and I interviewed with him. I interviewed with him um, on the show um, like a couple days ago. I haven't released it yet. And I'm doing a live with Saf like next week, too. Awesome. awesome. But me and Colin were like, is Tiger King like, <laughs> like in our live right now? Right. <laughs> And Sav's so asking these questions and being like, I love Outer Banks and watching it now. And Cullen's like, what is happening right now? <laughs> because usually a lot of the cast come in and chime in. Like, like for example, when I did one with um, Nick Cirillo, you know, Maddie Klein showed up and started talking. People lost their mind, <laughs> yeah. right? So we're doing this on with Cullen and like, no one's there. I mean, Caroline showed up for a little bit, but not more than that. But then like, so we're like, oh, you know, like we wanted some friends to come in. And we're like, forget about OBX. We got Tiger King. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Man, that just, just jumped it. You jumped the shark and it jumped right back in. Look what Netflix has put out. Like, like, and like, have you watched Hollywood yet? No, I haven't Dude, even had that... time. <laughs> <laughs> so good. And I haven't had time to watch all the great shows. So Hollywood is excellent. Seven episodes, excellent. Ryan Murphy killed it. Like, it was so good. <laughs> oh, man. There goes my night. No, I'm, no you're no, going to love it, man. It's It looks good. I loved it. You know what I mean? It's like, I'm watching Dead to Me now. Like, I'm loving it, yes. man. There's so... Yes. So, like, Netflix just keep it coming. They go. I mean, like, they go big. Money Heist, I have after... I'm brushing up on my Spanish because I have <laughs> some for Money Heist. I'm telling you, I'm just getting all the Netflix guys. <laughs> Which is amazing. Where can people I follow you on social media to keep up a date with everything? Well, I'm, I, Twitter is my number one that okay. I go to. It's at Gary Weeks. And um, I go everywhere. Instagram I'm on. I'll I'll answer when I can. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and I'll try to do something that's, a, that's... I always try to do something that's at least a nice response, like a witty response. They don't always come out that way. But that's, that's what, you know, you got to put them out and see what happens. Amazing. Well, thank you so much for doing this, man. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Well, this has been Popternative. Outer Banks, of course, is streaming now on Netflix. You can watch it now (laughs) if you haven't already. (laughs) (laughs) And until next time, this is Gary Weeks and PD Beats signing off. Thank you for tuning in to Popternative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Popternative on YouTube. Be sure to like Popternative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.